Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we got a new beta from Apple iOS 16.3 beta one has been released. Now we haven't actually been expecting this update since we will soon move on into the holiday season. And of course there will be no new releases. We expected this to come actually in 2023, but it is here and it's a really interesting update. Maybe not what we expected from iOS 16.3, but it's still quite interesting and some really nice changes so let's go ahead and take a look at this update and see what it's all about all right first of all we will start with the build number of ios 16.3 beta 1 and it's really interesting as it actually ends with an e which leads me to believe that there won't actually be a lot of betas for ios 16.3 now here's another change that you will actually see when you go to the ios version now i don't know why apple is doing this but with the release of iOS 16.2, when you go to the iOS version, you would see just this part right here and not the part where you go to more information regarding the update. I believe they're doing this just for the betas and when they release the RC version or the public version, they're removing this part. But still, you can actually tap here and see the about section for this newer update. So the build number again here is 20D5024E. Again, probably not a lot of betas for this update. Now the size of the update will be quite big when you install iOS 16.3 beta 1 you should expect the update to come to your device at around 5 gigs which is quite big of course this is what happens usually with the first betas and then as we move on of course the other ones will be way smaller. And now let's talk about the new features and changes that iOS 16.3 will bring to your device and of course the biggest one is the ability to add physical security keys and you will find it by going your apple id you go to password and security and you will have here a section to add security keys and it says here physical security is provide a strong form of two-factor authentication so basically this allows you to just replace like the messages that you get the codes that you get for two-factor authentication with security keys and when you tap on it this is what you will see right here so it says strongest account security physical keys provide strong protection against phishing and unauthorized access to your account and it says also it replaces the verification code what i just said so actually it asks you to add two different security keys so in case you just lose one or you don't have access to one you will be still able to actually have access to your account so if you tap on add security key here this is what we will see next so you need two security keys to get started you need to, to have two security keys this makes sure that you always sign into your account even if you lose one so right here it also it gives you like tips to store them separately and in safe places so by tapping continue here you will see this basically it sh shows you like a screen where you have your unactive devices and you have to actually sign out before you can continue and add your security keys via nfc another new feature is handoff music to home pod this is a new tutorial that you will get on your iphone you can see it says transfer music and control home pod bring iphone close to home pod to view controls and then you will have this next screen where it says basically bring your iphone near home pod to again later to view controls or transfer music this is like a new setup screen that you will get to transfer your music to your home pod there will be a new splash screen when you go to the music app the apple music app there will be a new splash screen that you will see like this for the new sync feature on iOS 16.2 has been added and now you will get this new splash screen with iOS 16.3. Now another change that has happened with the new sync feature on iOS 16.3 is this like volume hood right here that you get especially for the sync feature and the lowest vocal volume that is right here has now been set higher even though it's higher the volume seems to actually be the same just like the visuals have changed and it's now a bit higher than it was on ios 16.2 you will also get a new splash screen 
on the app store to actually enable notifications i'm pretty sure that this will show up only to people that don't have notifications turned on for the app store and it gives you the option to enable notifications from here there is also a new splash screen for the translate app even though i had this app forever it still shows me a new splash screen when i just opened the app on ios 16.3 so basically it says you conversations view so choose side by side or face to face conversation view to actually translate on real time then you will have auto translate here and system wide translation translate text simply by selecting it anywhere on your iphone so this is a new splash screen for the translate app now ios 16.3 is actually not as good as i would expect this update to be so of course with the release of ios 16.2 and a ton of new features that apple has added to ios 16.2 I uh, expected that it would have like a few less features than iOS 16.2, but it actually came short on a lot of new features that we have been expecting to come to the iPhone via iOS 16.3. Now, first of all, just a simple one. I don't know why Apple is doing this, but we still don't have a dark mode wallpaper for the iPhone. So if you have the iPad OS 16.1, you know that there's this wallpaper, but it also has the dark mode. It's not on the iPhone. I was really expecting Apple, maybe not bring new wallpapers, but at least give us the dark mode wallpaper, the stock one of iOS 16, but it's still not here. Another thing, the Apple Music Classical, still not here, even though we have been expecting it to come, maybe with iOS 16.2, it didn't come, iOS 16.3, it's not here also. Another big feature we have been expecting is the new custom accessibility mode. Now that feature was expected to come with iOS 16.2, as it was found on the code of iOS 16.2. It didn't come, of course, we're still on beta one of iOS 16.3, but I'm not really hoping that it will come with beta two or beta three because it's quite a big feature. I would think that Apple will actually just release it on the first beta, but if you go under accessibility, you won't find an option for the custom accessibility mode, which is a great, great feature. And of course, will change a lot for a lot of people but it's still not here. Probably we'll have to wait for iOS 16.4 for that feature. Now that we are done with the bad part, let's take a look at the performance and actually it's quite good. So here we have the performance from iOS 16.2. This is the public release of iOS 16.2 and it was at 1874 for the single core score. And here we have iOS 16.3 beta one, 1887. So we have a slight increase there, really good good ios 16 is getting really good on performance every time apple releases a new update it actually gets better step by step and then here we have the multi-core score so 5490 while we have here 5533 so here again another increase on the multi-core score which is really really great so what's next for ios 16 and of course ios 16.3 well, I don't actually expect Apple to release a new update, a new beta to iOS 16.3 this year. So we're currently, as of today, we are on December 15th. And of course, the next week, I don't think Apple will release a beta. If they will, they have to release it next week. But it's the week, of course, when the holidays start and we have Christmas and New, new Year's and all that. And I really don't expect Apple to release a new beta to iOS 16.3 until January, probably the first or the second week of January. And this update should go to around like four, maybe five different betas before it gets released to the public. But due to the all, of course, days now, the holidays and all that stuff, I expect it to take quite a maybe like two months until it gets released to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more if you did. And of course, don't forget to leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. And I will see you on the next one.